The animals that we have out of here at heart are specifically designed for developing countries. We stick to small animals. We try and discourage people in developing countries from having large animals because most people that we're dealing with who are uh, small landowners, they cannot afford a large enough piece of property to have such a thing as a cow and a horse, a pigs, and those animals all compete for protein from your children. And so we try and teach students to teach others to look at the possibility of using small animals. We take care of goats, we have a donkey, we have chicken, we have fish, which are tilapia. The aquaponic system we have, which is uh, raising fish, but it's using the fish wastewater um, as substitute for soil. And we have these things that we can easily buy from the store, but actually taking care of the animals and learning how to, to get and produce those things ourselves takes it to a whole new level where you actually have to milk the goat, where you actually have to collect the eggs, and we, we take it for granted, I think, sometimes, how easy it is for us to get those things, but for people in a village that have nothing, bringing in two chickens or bringing in two goats can completely change a whole village. I have to take care of them a lot, especially what kind of food that they need, they need to have and how to do it in the correct proportions for their sizes. And also at heart, I've learned how to vaccinate uh, various animals that we have here to be able to give shots um, and just basic maintenance for them. We basically get them ready to learn how to slaughter and, and skin our animals for meat, for food. The way we were taught is to do it in a more humane way. By doing the, this process, you're actually able to use so much more of the animal. Where just going out and buying something, there's a lot of stuff that's tossed away, you know, skins that aren't used. You now have a way to provide clothing by using the fur. It is definitely very effective. You see benefits from taking care of them. Benefits of getting milk, getting eggs, stuff that we need to daily sustain ourselves, and just to learn how to spread that knowledge to other people who are in desperate need of it. We have to milk the goats, which is really interesting. I never thought I'd be milking anything, but I am. During Animal Crew, we've also had to do things like um, build goat pen so that they have some sort of shelter during the cold. Out of a book, you can read as much as you want about goats, but it's not as true as if you forget to feed them for a day and they're laying down on the ground sick the next day. We're able to see a direct correlation, which is really vital to have effective community development in a third world country.